Buzzing for you know per se uh, on a non-boxing, especially for one particular show on Netflix, which now I think is now has officially caught fire. You know, of course we're talking about Squid Game. You know, it's a you know Korean show. Now, if you ever uh, now for most people, like I mean, I think all of us got put on the Squid Game though differently. Like I, I got put on it, early, I got put on it early, but even before I got his reputation, but because I watched a show on it they had called Alice in uh, was it Wonderland or Borderland? I forget. It's one of those in Borderland. Borderland, yeah. So it's like um, in that show, and I remember I saw I told LB about. It, I was like, "Yo, this show is actually kind of tough," you know. And um, you, you did, and I, I still slept. I didn't. Mm-hmm. But the thing is, when Squid Game, I just turned on Netflix one day. Like I think they came out that day, and I said Squid Game. I'm like, "Yo, this shit sounds like like Kaji. Like this sounds raw. Like." Yeah, and then I just watched it and just binge the fuck out that shit. Like then afterwards, somebody else told me about Alice in Borderland, and then I remember you saying it. I was like, "Fuck, let me go watch Alice in Borderland." Mm-hmm. I enjoyed it, but it's not better than Squid Game. It isn't no, but it, it, but if you watch it, at least it gives you a good idea. It, 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 I think it's a good. It'll be it's a good little. I won't say it's a prequel, but it, it's a good foundation for what Squid Game is. Now, Squid yeah, it's, Game, it's in the same lane. It's, it's definitely in the same lane. Yeah, you know, and, and and it's surprisingly how this this how this actually caught fire. I mean, Squid Game is basically child games that are demonic, and they're demonic. Yeah, they're demonic really repercussions, cool. nigga. Very like, demonic, yeah. very demonic for a lot of money. But yeah, no, because the game the it's game much, ain't like demonic itself. It's the repercussions, man. It's ba- like if you lose. Yeah, I mean, basically, it's childhood games with an adult twist. For the people who compete in them are basically they're doing it to wipe out serious debts that they've accumulated in their lives, you know. And then the, it, that was definitely the issue of many of the main characters. And uh, Jesus Christ, man, that red light, <laughs> red light, green light, it took on a whole different meaning in that game. Because oh, I thought, yeah, like from episode one, they were not fucking around with that, with what they were doing. Like Squid Game is violent. Has some gore in it. It's it's you know people you, you people be people catch some bullets in that in, the, in this in this fucking yeah, duh, like <laughs> straight, straight yeah. to the head. Dude. You straight had to, to watch a head. zombie movie to see more headshots. Yeah, that yeah, shit, like I mean, that shit. That shit definitely uh, ain't for the, the weaker heart, the faint of heart for sure. That shit but it's crazy. emotional. Like it gets you attached to the characters. Hey, like we didn't even name on some of the debts people was having. You had dudes who's like in debt with like. 400 grand you know yeah. 2 mil 15 mil 30 mil like yeah like you got some serious like I don't know how much of a loser in life you gotta be to get some of this debt <laughs> right like you gotta be bottom of the barrel piece of shit type like and you had men and women in there so just imagine you had husband and wives in there like god damn yeah, you know exactly, and you see them too. And obviously, had a lot of had a lot of uh, subplots and everything. You know, with obviously, you know, you know, like obviously, like once you know they're in there, you know, you have alliances and stuff like that. You have, you know, you have your bully characters. You have the old man character. You know, you you basically you, you have a lot of. I mean, and you have you have a whole bunch of turncoats in yeah, there, like the, the unstable, the, the unstable broad. You know that one broad. Yeah, like they're, they're, like. It, 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 that skeezer. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that bitch crazy as fuck. Man. Yeah, it, it dealt with it dealt with a lot of it dealt with it dealt with a lot of negative stuff. Like it was lots like along with the gore, there was a lot of psychological stuff going on. Like people were disturbed, <laughs> incredibly disturbed in this, you know. So I mean, and the funny thing too is like you, you people you watch these games and you're like and you know that it's life or death and you just can't turn away. I think that was the biggest thing about watching these episodes, man. You know, I was just like, oh, damn, like, you know, like, okay, like, you don't want people to die, but you already know if they don't, you know, do what they need to do, you know, they, they catching a bullet. <laughs> That's the thing. They make you care about the people's lives, like, mm-hmm. 
that's how it gets you like and that's that's the one thing alice in borderland was missing right alice in borderland you didn't have like you couldn't even relate to those characters like that and then it was just so mysterious as far as like why is it happening mm-hmm. you have a certain disconnect when you have a show like that so you gotta really excel at other things where a squid game it seemed the whole premise was mad realistic right and then the dead and showing how some people could be scumbags or be in fucked up situations and you know like like the the pakistan guy um like ali his whole situation was fucked up yeah you know like it, it, that's what it does to you it it, it, it it gives you all these different range of characters and it just plays out yeah yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's it. yeah and, and it just—it's it, it, just—it just seemed like it was just it, 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 and that's what made it because it was nine episodes, and it was just like it was just hard to stop watching it and just to see what it was like, what, what who would happen, like who would die next or whatever, and, you know. And like I said, some of the episodes were just brutal, like particularly episode six. Oof, like yeah, episode what was six, episode six again? The the bridge episode. I think it was oh like, yeah, yeah, that that uh, that bridge. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that that bridge was yeah, that bridge was fucked. And because uh, uh, there was a whole bunch of fuckery outside of the bridge too. So yeah, no, that I felt one like that was the worst. Like a lot of the games like were winnable, but I felt like that was one of those games that just wasn't winnable. Yeah, although the, although the, there, there there was a slight twist, but then you know. It, 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 the funny thing to do was like several twists during that whole thing, during that whole episode with you know people trying to beat that particular <clears> thing. <throat> and you know what the funny thing is too is I thought this would be the first show that I wouldn't see any alternative behavior, but there's 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 a little bit of that in episode six. Yeah, you know, so it, it, it was, uh, like I said, but it, uh, luckily it didn't... It, it, I don't it, even it, know, I can't even remember, I don't even know what you're talking, because nothing stood out to me as weird or anything in that episode. Well, um, the, um, you know, the people that came and actually watched that shit, and that old dude that was trying to get, you know, that was talking about... Oh, 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 that, that part, okay, nah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. that, that dude. <laughs> yeah, that part was funny, like, and even the whole side story with the, the, guy, the cop investigating it, like... Mm-hmm. Like, I don't know the Squid Game. It did a lot of the little things right, and it was just running on all cylinders, like. Right, and it yeah, ra- and it wrapped it up too, and it wrapped it up. Yeah, great writing. I mean, I'm I'm I'm, I'm halfway through it, but it's great writing, and uh, you know, all the little pieces. You know, you get invested but with these guys, even though you can't even speak the language and shit. You're you definitely uh, you know, want to see what's happening well, next. Well, that's why we have subtitles. Thank God, this. Thank God for subtitles. Or oh, that, and, 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 and it's funny. That, I actually watched the dub. And I still enjoyed it, yo. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the, you know, like I mean, they were talking like you know, they were. It, it was like the old school kung fu flicks or whatever. You know, the old school yeah. channel five comes to it, but you know what? They, I understood, and that you had the subtitles, so it was all good. And then, uh, uh, look, I'm not one of those guys that gets you know turned off by subtitles. Um, but you know, if if the movie flows uh, or the show flows, and it flowed perfectly yeah. well, where it was not like it was not it was not an issue. So, because um, I usually I'll have it in dub, and I will still had the subtitles at the bottom anyway. So, mm-hmm. there's usually a difference in what they say and all that shit. So it's like you'll catch certain shit, but I, I still enjoyed it. Uh, the music, the music in the show was good as well. It stood out. It was quirky. It was yeah. dark. <laughs> And there is a twist, to, and it, there's a twist near the end, and you know, and even the twist itself was not bad because it still led to something. So, uh, you know, so like, like I said, I mean, it did, a, it did, a, it did, it's, it did a great job in, in wrapping. Yeah, because some people, I know, some people talked about not being a fan of the ending, but I thought the ending was good. Like I thought it concluded. Yeah, so, same here. Listen. The, I mean, basically, I want—I I just wanted that one particular character to die because you know, because of what he did to the, the Pakistani man. You know, I, I, wa- I wanted him to die. <laughs> <laughs> I, I needed him to die, bro. Like you know, the, 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 the tattoo thug. No, not him. I right, don't spoil it for me. Don't spoil it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only on five, man. Shit. 
Yeah, so it's oh, yeah. But, but if we if we you had to redo this, that everybody gets a just dessert. So you know. Yeah, everything you like, you know. But I, I'll say this too. That's so crazy. That tattoo dude needs to go. That tattoo dude. Well, I don't know. He's annoying as fuck. Oh, oh, yo, him, him. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah, no, he. he yeah, that, he, that guy's a dick, too. That's a dick, man. You know, but uh, if I was to rate this show, honestly, this shit is actually a 10. Like, it, it's it's it, it's a 10 in every fucking thing. Like, I mean, like, I, yeah. I could rewatch this show and anything like that. And I, you know, like, th- this was truly, it was a 10 to 10 show. That would be my rating for the show. What about you, LB? Honestly, like when I told somebody about it, I told them a nine. But now that I now that I think about it, like there's nothing really I would change or do anything wrong. The pacing was good. This it's it's a ten. It's it's ten in every sense in the word. And it's crazy because I, I think the guy said he wrote the script back in two thousand nine. Like mm-hmm. it's, it's been around. They don't yeah, plan on he he didn't plan on even making a sequel like <laughs> yeah <laughs> but now everybody's like yo you gotta write a sequel like <laughs> hell yeah and then and you and, and, and I'm pretty sure Netflix is more than willing it's gonna break off some bread or whoever is like yeah you know what you need this bread like you know we, we'll make this and, and truthfully I don't want them to rush the sequel I want them to take their time like I want like you know like I want them to really think about some some demonic. Ch- demonic ways to bastardize a childhood game like hopscotch like you know you do that shit and you know and you lose bam you lose your legs or some shit like that i want them to take their time yeah, like, dudes, <laughs> do some shit like these children's games from like a different country because you see how they stuck it to like korean games yeah so imagine like, if you're doing like some some german games or some shit or some african uh, games uh, i don't know like <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take yeah, t- uh, take your time. Don't rush it because you don't want it to be like a you know like a one hit wonder thing. Like because it, it has potential. It has potential to to evolve. Yeah, yeah. Give me a Black Summer season three while you're at it. You know, <laughs> you know, you know. And we're just you know pitching shows out here. You, you know, motherfuckers is listening. You know, <laughs> facts. I, I definitely need some more Black Summer season three. Keep it going. That shit's hard as fuck, but. That Squid Game is like amazing. Honestly, I can't see anybody rating it lower than a nine. Yeah, dude, uh, honestly, you know, it's like it, it's definitely worth it. Like, I mean, it's worth the watch. It, it, it's Must the hype. Like, the hype is absolutely real for this. Now, I mean, if you if you honestly if you don't if you don't like it, then you know, then it, that, that's just you just one of those square ass contrarian niggas. Like, yeah, or you know, you, you need to go watch like fucking Bridgerton or some shit like that. Like, yeah, because it has a message to it and all this shit, and you see it. It's not like platform where it, on the outside it looks like it could be a nine or a ten movie, but mm-hmm. you know, once you watch it, you're like, okay, this is more like a seven eight type, you know, six seven eight type movie. Like, right now, nah, this one, the hype is real. Like. You gotta remember sometimes if some sometimes when certain shit is held in high regard by everybody, you know, there's times when it's really true. It's not like no secret or, or niggas just gassing it up, like you know. <clears throat> hmm Like sometimes, you know, there's a you'll see a chick and she really is a dime, like Right. And if, Absolutely. Every, and if everybody in the room says that that you know Yes, yeah, probably a dime. Don't be that one guy like, oh nah, you know, that bitch elbows too pointy, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you know, her baby toe, you know, looks at me funny, like or, or, or some <laughs> weird shit. Don't be that guy hating on shorty, like nah. Just, right. But it, it, that's how Squid Game is, you know. The, Alice in Borderlands is good. That's that's like an eight to me. <clears throat> Mm-hmm. Excuse me. Is 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 it has a great? It has lots of action. Um, but like I said, like a lot of the stuff it lacks, Squid Game excels in. The games are demonic on that shit, and they're fucked up. Yeah, but you don't care about the characters like that. And, no, and the no, whole no. vibe and the music is it, not the same. The cinematography for Squid Game is on another level. Like it really. It's little shit like the rooms and the doors and 
yeah, the fact that you know, yeah, especially like the like, you know, like the places where it actually looked like a fucking you know, it actually looked like some video game shit, like for real, like the stairs, the stairs area and stuff yeah. like that. So, I mean, the, the, the premise, I swear, it's like Kaji, like even with the even with the, um, I think it was the bridge, <laughs> like, but man, like, it's, I just I can't stop recommending it. That shit's classic. Like y'all gotta, if you ain't seen that shit, you gotta watch it. Yeah, full like, well, like uh, uh, and I know uh, from the stuff that I mean from pilot from, from the five episodes you watched so far. What do you think? What do you think? You, what would your score be so far for it? Uh, no half. We give no halves, right? So, uh, I'm gonna rock with a nine. I mean, I'm gonna rock with a nine. I like watching, you know, personally, I like watching some some black shit. But this shit's, you know, I'm half Asian, so I can relate. I'm gonna give it a nine because I do, I do like it. I, I mean, I, I can't. At the NFL's over today, I, I'm definitely gonna, gonna finish it off. So, I mean, you know, if that gets me invested that much, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a nine for sure. Yeah, so, so dope concept, fucking a fresh concept, you know. I mean, it's like Hunger Games on, you know, demonic Hunger Games, I guess. So I'm with it. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, I never seen Hunger Games, but I seen Battle Royale. Yeah, people, yeah, like, people compare that to Battle Royale too. Like, I mean, I they took the idea from Battle Royale. That's why I never, I said fuck Hunger Games because once I was like, no, they did. Uh, yo, if you if you like if you like Squid Game, Battle Royale. Yo, is a must. Mm-hmm. That, that's a classic. If you like Squid Game, you, everything the Squid Game gets on gets right. Like they get right in their own way too. Like you gotta watch that shit. Right. right. So uh, yeah, so yeah, yeah. Highest recommendation for us to highest recommendation for you to for you to to watch and make and you won't be disappointed. You know for sure. Uh, Hell no. Nah. So we got one more review, one more.